Okay, six okay. minutes on the clock. Go. Go. Good day. Um, okay, so love them or hate them, code reviews are part of what we do. We're our uh, developers, we like people to look at what we do. Um, now usually what happens, I've done a few of these, usually um, a program will be sent to me, I'll uh, you know, scratch down some notes, I'll read the code, maybe it'll get back to the developer, maybe it won't, maybe the developer will do what the changes that we ask for, maybe they don't, nobody ever knows. Um, you know, if you're lucky, you might end up in a review document. Now, seven pages. What, seven, seven, yeah, seven pages. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that was done. Um, so, look, you know, at the same time, your peers are doing the same thing. They might be reviewing the same code. They might be rewriting the same comments. We're repeating what we do over and over again. So, one of the ways to get around this is maybe we have a meeting. We all work together and we discuss it collaboratively. But yeah, we're all time poor. We don't have time to get together, and it's really difficult to get people, especially when you've got offshore resources and all that sort of stuff going on. So. What's a code review at the end of the day? We read code, we write comments, and we talk about what's been done so that people can get better and understand different approaches. Now, if we want to get multiple people involved in this, we need a collaboration tool. Now, we already have a really good collaboration tool. It's called Streamworks. It's SAP provided to us. It's pretty much free. Now, what if we could do our code reviews in Streamworks? Wouldn't that be a really, really cool idea? So, just imagine for a moment, that's my screen, that I have written the cool demo jam class with one method. You know, it's, a, it's an amazing thing. I want that review by my peers. So I go up here and I create a review. Like this little transaction here. So what I can do is I can create a review for that particular class. I'll give it a review, uh, I don't know, first iteration. Well, this is great, I'm not going to correct it because we're going to run out of time. And I'm not going to get into the objectives, but I'm going to invite my alter ego, Alistair Reviewer, and I'm also going to invite my good mate here, Matt Hardy, who's always on the move. He's a, he's a very important architect, but I really want him to see my code. I'm going to click that out, I'm going to create a review. Now what this is going to do is this is going to create an activity in Streamworks, which is going to be the collaboration piece that we use to work with this code. Now this is happening now. So what's just happened is Streamworks is now showing you, you can see on the screen that I've been invited to an activity. Now Matt, can we get the iPad? So typically you know, I'm at Mastering Technologies, ours sent me work to do. So I go into my uh, iPad, I've already got Streamworks open here, and you can see I've got this uh, uh, peer review, so I can accept that and immediately go to the activity. So I'll let you review now, it first. Now while Matt's doing that, can we come back to the computer? So Matt's, Matt's accepting that, so I'm just lighting this up now. So we can see on the screen, this is the review. So when it finally loads up. <laughs> okay, so we push the class off to Streamix. Now what I can do is I can start looking through this code and see what I think. Now, to start here, I'm not happy with the fact that I haven't used an underscore, because I like my private it's my variables to be underscore. So please use underscore. I'm going to type that probably. I'm going to post that comment. That's already been updated. Now, Matt, if we go back to the iPad. We go to this screen. Look, we can see that it's very hard to see. Oh, well, there's a few on Chris. Um, you can see it's been updated quite well. Um, it immediately shows me, so I can just refresh the screen. And once it comes back, I get to show all my comments. And I can look through it. And I go, yes. You see the comment from me? That's great. Wow. Please yeah. use UNESCO. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, he knows what I mean. Yeah. yeah, and I can see, look, he's left a break point in there. So I actually can select on the break point. I can select on it. And add. Remove breakpoint. Yeah. Now, if we can flick back to the Mac, please. Let me just. Yeah, I'm just going to put something at the top. <laughs> so he's going to post that comment. Now I'm going to go on the. It's going to tell me. You can see at the top of the screen where Streamworks is going. It lets you know what's going on. So I can go back. I can see that something's going on. Matt's done some more comments. Refresh my screen. I can show all the comments here. And I say, oh, it's lots of breakpoints. Now, imagine I'm the developer. I'm going to just switch sessions here. You can see up here. This is the Alistair developer user. Now I've got this activity here, which I should have opened in the background, so I just didn't speak so long. So many things to do, there's probably so many people. I needed hats like Chris did. So this is going to load up my review. Now I'm able to see now obviously what's going on. It's important for the developer to see the comments are going. So let me just have a look and see what's going on. So okay, um, yeah, look, yeah, I'm happy, I know what that means. I know I'm supposed to use an underscore, so I'm gonna say, yep, I'm gonna do that, done, yeah, I'm happy with that comment. And at the same time, yeah, I'm gonna remove my break, but that's a bit silly, so I'm gonna do that. And then as a good developer, I'm now gonna go back into SNP. Oh, that's an SNP. I will actually make those changes. Now, because the review is tying everything together, so I can actually check that these things have been done. So first of all, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to make this change, and the time you run, apologies for watching me type. So we do a 10-minute demo now in 6 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say that, and I even killed one another. Goodness gracious, how can I do this right? Uh, let us, I need to take that out of there, I need to add the underscore, let's add the change right over there. Uh, sorry, how much time have we got? Underscore, save. And the only thing I needed to do was I needed to take the break point out, because I remember, I don't like that, so I'll take that out. And then I also remember that I actually wanted to add another method, so I'm just going to do that one. <laughs> because, you know, I, I actually should be letting yeah, people know, you know. So we're going to do a, a set, you know, which is a little bit of a for a class, but we're going to set, we're going to do that. I'm going to generate my class. Ah, oh, dear, what have I done? Which one did I do? Thank you. Yeah, well, did I did the magic and save it, sorry. 